Hey folks, today we're going to go through hitch height compared to the ground in relationship to what it does to tongue weight on your tow vehicle. Uh, in a nutshell, as I'll explain as this video goes on, you'd think that the triangular tongue weight would be exactly the same regardless of where you put it on, but it's not true. As we lift it up higher and higher, it gets lighter. As we go down lower and lower, it gets heavier. Uh, the reason that matters specifically is if you get down too low, the added weight may actually put you over the limit of your hitch, creating a safety issue. By the same token, going too high can create an issue by being too light. Too light, if it gets to be too extreme, can lead to the trailer fishtailing, and it can fishtail hard enough just going down the highway to actually cause a wreck of your entire vehicle. There's videos online, I'll try to find a link to put into the notes up at the beginning of the video, where the trailer wags so bad it actually flipped the entire tow vehicle trailer upside down in the middle of the highway. Um, there's actually a number of those if you look. Uh, specifically though, uh, what you're supposed, it's recommended is, whatever the weight of your trailer, the entire weight with all the stuff in it, you're supposed to have at least 10% of it sitting on the tongue of your trailer. Uh, better if it's a little bit heavier as long as you don't overload anything. Uh, as an example of this particular A-Liner Ranger 10, 2014, the camper is supposed to be about 1450 pounds empty with the stuff we keep on there all the time. It's close to 1600 pounds, which means the minimum trailer tongue weight that you should ever use would be 160 pounds. Uh, this particular one, because of the way the trailer is laid out, is heavier. I am about 242 pounds, which is about 15%. Uh, I can speak from experience on this one, that regardless of the speed I've had this up to, being towed behind a relatively small, lightweight tow vehicle, the Kia Soul, never wags. There's just nothing there. It's never an issue, never causes you a bit of worry or issues with that at all. Um, the way I'm going to do this today, I'm going to use... My handy dandy bathroom scale <laughs> with various things stacked up under here to make it reach. I will jack the trailer up to the initial height. Right now it's 16 and a half off the ground. I am going to do two inch increments to go up, up to six inches high and two inch increments to go down to six inches low. And I'm going to give you the weight on all of those and the percentage change on a graph at the end of this video. Uh, it's more of a change than you might expect. It can actually be significant, which is why we're showing all this. Part of the reason I'm doing this video is when I went online trying to find out about this, I could only find generalities about that it's heavier when it's lower and it's lighter when it's higher. Uh, no specific numbers virtually ever on anything, much less the weights on a particular trailer at various heights to tell you how critical it is and how close we actually are. Uh, hopefully this video will finally solve that. By making this video, I'm putting some actual data out onto the internet that people can look at it's specific to this trailer, but at least you give an idea of how much things can shift in the percentages and why it could be important. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay. To illustrate what's actually going on here when the tongue goes up or the tongue goes down, I'm starting out with the camper completely level. I made a mark vertically directly from the axle, which is the pivot point, and we're going to put the straight edge to cover it. Notice it's not visible at all. Then we're going to crank it up and we're going to crank it down. Okay, this is the camper in the tongue with six inches low position. Notice how much of the tape, that's the center line, is now protruding past the true vertical position, meaning that all the weight that was on the front of the camper still is, of course, but that much of what was back here on the other side of the balance line is now forward, adding to the tongue weight. Okay, and then now this is the same thing with the tongue of the camper six inches high. Notice the entire strip is now up behind the vertical line, which still always stays with the axle. So you have the back part of the camper, which is always behind the center of balance. But now you also have this much of the front of the camper behind the axle, shifting its weight behind there. And that is why your tongue weight keeps getting lighter as you go higher. Okay, it looks like the way to do this most easily is to put it on the lowest position. Get the scale to turn on for a moment for me here. Take a reading, crank it up two inches at a time. There we go, it's on now. And then we got 261 at the lowest position. Then we start cranking. Just put it in half. Be there. The number is 259. And then 
next one will be a 14 and a half. Which point we have. And we're back out again. <laughs> Turn back on. Okay. 251, 252. Okay, so. At the first three position, or first four, level is 243 pounds, down two inches is 252, down four inches is down 254, and down the six inches is 261 pounds, just by lowering the height. Now we're gonna reset this and go up. Okay, this is the highest position, position six inches up. I'm gonna lower it down and see what we get on our scale. is 229 pounds. Okay, this is the four inch high. That's what we get here. Two thirty-two. And that just leaves us to do the two inch high. This will be the two inch high. And this chart shows the result of the tests. Um, you can see that the level at 243 pounds, relatively heavy for a small camper like this. Uh, what's more concerning is when you look at the minus two, only two inches lower, picks up almost another 10 pounds. It's quite a lot of weight change just by dropping the hitch a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but overall the range, you can see what the numbers are and what they do. Uh, keep in mind that this is a small, light and low camper. So these changes by hitch height are actually going to be less than a taller, heavier type camper that's not a pop-up like this. Uh, the taller it is, the more it leans and the more it gets into the weight, uh, forwards or back, it's going to get bigger Something numbers to these. consider is the water tank that's built into your camper. Uh, my particular one is 11 gallons, weighs about 90 pounds when it's full. Uh, changes my level weight from 243 on the tongue to all the way down to 222, a reduction of 21 pounds. Something to keep in mind. Some Campers actually have much heavier, bigger tanks. I uh, hope this video was good and thanks for watching.